Housekiss. Welcome to today's BB Can 6 Updates and Spoilers. Our Housekiss of the day is Tom Lai. Tom, thank you so much for the support. You're awesome and we really appreciate it. And if you guys want to be Housekiss of the day, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. Alright, so where are we right now? <laughs> well, last time, Hamza did not use the power of veto, which means that Olivia and Jesse are still up on the block and one of them will be leaving on Thursday. Also, Hamza is really, really pissed because Jesse brought up Hamza's fiance in his per in his in his personal speech, in his power of veto speech, and he made things personal and he called Hamza a liar. And Hamza does not like that. Um, so Hamza's talking about how much he can't stand Jesse. He's like, I'm not going to talk to him the rest of the time. I'm here. You know, I'm just going to stay away. So then. Big Brother calls for an HOH lockdown, and Hams is like, no, Jesse isn't allowed in the HOH room. Well, I guess he is, because everybody was up there except for Will, who was called to the diary room. That's fishy. Um, was there, like, a secret task or something? Or, like, did he meet the robot in the storage room, like William? Like, what the hell was that? I don't know, but... I guess we'll be finding out on the show. So when the feeds came back after the lockdown, there was no like noticeable, noticeable change throughout the house. So everybody went on their way. Kayla, Allie, and Olivia raced back outside to get some more sun by the hot tub. But also, they had a few minutes by themselves to discuss, you know, coming back together. There was a bit of a rift in there, in their group. But now, um, they're kind of, you know, they're regrouping. They're coming, the band's getting back together. So they agree that they're gonna keep each other safe for at least three weeks. I guess they figure that's when jury starts. So they wanna keep each other safe through jury. We'll see how that works out. Um, Kayla lets them know that Derek freaked out at her for talking to them again. That's true, he's been a lot <laughs> in the last few days with his bro up on the blog. It's been really, it's been really hard for him, okay? So then um, other people come outside and break up that chat. Oh, all right. So then Derek and Veronica were having a game chat on the upstairs couches, and Derek was like, I think Hamza wants Jesse gone. <laughs> what gave you uh, that idea? <laughs> so Veronica's like, well, my vote is saying it's staying the same no matter what. It doesn't matter who talks to me or who's in my ear. Like, my mind is made up. It's done. And then she says, I'm voting live out. No, she's not. Veronica is like a really good liar though. Oh my God. So Derek uh, was then saying that he was there when Hamza swore on his fiance. He's the one that brought her into this. He likes that Jesse, you know, made that speech during the power veto ceremony. He's like, yeah, everything he said was true. So it needed to be said. <gasps> oh no. So then he's saying he feels really good about the votes right now for Jesse. He says we have me, you, Kayla, Will, Paris, Maddie, and probably Erica. So that's seven. Um, and then, or was that eight? No, seven. And then Veronica's saying, well, Johnny will probably vote with all of us too. No, pretty much like all of those people have said that they're voting Jesse out this week. So, yeah. <laughs> So then they were talking about how Hamza keeps saying he doesn't care if he goes home. I think that's like a Dr. Will play on Hamza's part. I think he does care, but he's acting like he doesn't. Um, but Ronnie's like, well, if he doesn't care, let's just send him the F home. Again, she is playing Derek right now because she is with Hamza. So Derek is saying next week is our best chance to take out Hamza because he can't play for HOH. And then once we take him out, me, you, and Kayla, and I guess Will can just keep winning HOHs back to back to back to back and send everybody else out. Oh, because it's just so, it's like that easy. <laughs> um, but he's telling Veronica, Kayla and I love you. You're a comp beast. Ding, ding, ding. I'm going to use you for now because you're a comp beast, just like I thought I was going to use Hamza. Mm -hmm. So then Jesse joins them, and Ronnie tells him, you don't need to waste your time with me this week. You know, you don't need to talk game with me. Which, I mean, was he really going to anyway? Derek is doing all the legwork here. Um, so she tells Jesse, my mind is already made up. This time she's she's not saying straight up I'm voting out Olivia, but she's implying that. Um, and then Jesse is like, well, I hope everybody, you know, learned something from my POV speech. Hamza can't be trusted. He swore on his fiance's life that he would use that veto on me. And I have to say, 
Hamza did in fact do that, <laughs> you know? He did that. I don't know if he's trying to rewrite history or if he actually believes that he didn't, but he definitely did. So then Derek brings up backdooring Hamza next week. Of course, Jesse's on board for that. He says he's going to be gunning really hard for the HOH. I don't think you're going to be there, bro. Um, but Derek is like, Ronnie, it would really help us out if you could keep Will level-headed this week because he says Will told him he's going to do what he wants to do, meaning what Derek wants to do, and he believes that. But he just wants to make sure that nobody gets into Will's head because they think he might be kind of easily influenced. So then um, Derek is like, Jesse's staying this week. Let's con let's take control of this effing game. All right. So then Ronnie leaves and Derek is like, I feel good about her. And Jesse says, me too. Well, <laughs> lovely Ronnie goes to the white room and then tells Maddie and Will about that whole conversation. She's like, Jesse thinks he's safe, which is good because that's what we wanted. You know, Hamza really wants everybody to be surprised this week. Um, but they did say that they're worried about you, Will. They don't know where your head's at. They're worried that you're going to be flipped. Which is funny because Will was like one of the main people flipping everybody else this week. I would say Will and Johnny. So Will is like, nobody gets in my mind. I play my own game. <laughs> and then Will warns Ronnie, like, you need to chill it saying how you're voting. Um, don't tell them that you're voting to keep Jesse because obviously you're not. And we don't want to piss off Derek and Kayla any more than we have to already because we might need them down the line. What if they win HOH? So just keep it cool with that. And she's like, oh no, I'm not telling them that I'm voting Jesse out. You know, I never said that. I or no, she, she's, she said that she never said that she was going to vote Olivia out which is not true because she definitely said it at least once, but she's like, no, they're just assuming that I'm going to keep Jesse when I say that my mind's already made up. Again, she definitely said at least once that she's voting out Olivia. So then um, Ronnie's asking, okay, Will, what are you going to say to them when they ask about your vote? So Will's like, I'm going to say that I don't know where my vote is right now because he did not like what Jesse said to Hamza during the power veto ceremony. He thinks it was disrespectful and he would be pissed if anybody asked him to swear on his son's life. So he's like, no, I'm going to tell them straight up. I don't know. So then Maddie is like, um, did they say anything about me in Paris? <laughs> and Ronnie's like, well, they think that you guys are like, Ugh. those are my words. Um, <laughs> but they feel like they're going to have your votes at the end of the week. So Maddie's like, cool. All right. So then. Ronnie goes up to the HOH room, and she has a pretty similar conversation with Hamza and Marin. She tells them about Derek's campaigning, uh, and she's like, yeah, Derek is campaigning more than Jesse this week. Yup. I think Jesse has talked, like, ten minutes of game total this whole season. <laughs> he has not talked much game. Um, but then she's telling them my new plan for when they ask me about my vote. I'm going to say that I don't know what I'm going to do anymore because I didn't realize how upset Hamza was by uh, Jesse's speech just on a personal level and that's really got her thinking. So then uh, Ronnie's like, oh, speaking of that speech, Derek was supporting it. He said that he's glad that Jesse made that speech and everybody needs to know. And Hamza is pissed that uh, he's now hearing that Derek is saying that he lied and that the speech was a good move. Um, you did lie. <laughs> you really did swear on your fiance. I'm not saying that um, it's okay for Jesse to make that speech. I don't remember if Hamza was straight up just like, I swear on my fiance, or if they were like, do you swear on your fiance? So I feel like that stuff should just not come into the game at all. I don't know. It's just, ugh, it's a messy situation. So then Hamza is saying he wants to call Derek out. He wants to tell him Jesse's going this week and Derek, you're next. But he also doesn't want to do that because he wants them to be blindsided on Thursday. He wants to have a good old time. Um, so then Olivia joins them in the HOH room and she's just like, I'm just like wondering around the house bored. Like what is going on? So Hamza tells her, you just need to relax and have a good couple of days. So Olivia's like, yeah. She asks Aaron, or Aaron. She asks, why can I not speak? She asks Marin to leave the room. 
Oh, Marin, he never gets to stay for stuff. So then Olivia's asking Veronica and Hamza, is there anything I should be doing over the next few days? They tell her, no. Jesse pretty much sealed his fate today with that speech, just have fun. If you hear the other side saying they have the numbers, don't worry about it, don't believe it. We're just messing with them so that we can have a little fun and surprise them on Thursday. So Olivia's like, okay. All right, so then a little while later, Hamza and Kayla have a chat in the HOH room, and Kayla's like, don't worry, I'm not here to campaign for Jesse. I'm not Derek. She's just here to clean up Derek's mess, because he is making a big mess. So she's like, Derek is really emotionally invested in Jesse, and it's blinding his judgment right now. And Hamza is like, yeah, he freaking sucks right now. He is upset that Derek is supporting Jesse's power veto speech and calling him a liar. He's like, this is a game. Just leave the personal stuff out of it. So then Kayla's like, okay, um, don't associate with him with me, please. <laughs> she says, whatever Derek thinks is best for his game is not necessarily best for my game. And she says it wouldn't be the worst thing for her game for Jesse to go. It's going to bring Derek closer to them, and she thinks it'll be really good for both of them. I don't think Hamza really cares about working with Derek, unless... Derek or Kayla win H O H. Um, so then she's just like, I'm here because I don't want to let Derek ruin my game. You know, everybody's going to clump us together. But uh, Hamza's like, no, people like you. <laughs> they're judging your game separately. Don't worry. But you know, if somebody's going to go after Derek, they're probably going to put Kayla up next to him. That's just how showmances work, right? So then <laughs> Derek joins them. Oh, oh boy. So... He's like, all right, um, I figured that Jesse would say something at the POV ceremony, but I didn't think he'd, like, stop the ceremony the way he did. So, apparently, Jesse made his speech, you know, asking for the veto to be used, and then Hamza didn't. And then it sounds like Jesse was like, wait, wait a second, I got something to say. He stopped, like, the ending part of the ceremony and, like, made another little speech, and that's when it got personal and nasty. So... Sounds very dramatic. Um, but Derek's like, I guess, like, maybe he may have probably, I don't know, maybe taken it too far or whatever. Like, <laughs> that's not gonna fly with Hamza. I don't think that's exactly what he wanted to hear. So Hamza's like, you know what? That play sealed Jesse's fate. He's probably going home this week, but it's not the end of the world, you know? You need to look out for yourself and Kayla. You're still in this game. Don't ruin your game over this. So Hamza's like, we got two options here. We can either move forward together, or we can go against each other. And he says, I'm not a liar. <laughs> he said he had to do what was best for his game. So he also warns Derek to watch what he's saying to people around the house, because a lot of stuff is coming back to him. He tells Derek, I could probably repeat to you, like, full conversations word for word that you've had with people around the house. So, watch your mouth. All right, and then he also lets Derek know that people were telling him to take down Olivia and put him up on the block this week next to Jesse. So just know that I could have done that, and I didn't. All right, so then Kayla is like, I think you guys should just maybe, like, drop the tension and move on. You know, if Jesse goes, just move forward. Don't take me out. So then Hams is like, yeah, that sounds great. Me, Will, and Veronica are genuine, and we all still want to work with you guys. I don't think Derek was too into this because he was just sitting there like, okay, yeah, right. <laughs> he wasn't really contributing that much to the conversation. Um, so then last night there was also a big chat between Paris and Johnny. She is looking for a new number one. Her three-person alliance with Maddie and Will is pretty much falling apart. Um, she has a good idea now that she's probably going to be losing Jesse this week. So... She needs a new person, and she's putting her eggs in the Johnny basket. So she's telling him, look, I wanted to work with Maddie and Will, but it's just not going to work out. Maddie is too concerned with going with the house. Uh, there's no way that she would stick her neck out to save one ally like me. It's just not going to happen. And Will is way too close to Veronica now. Um, she feels like Veronica has kind of replaced her in the group. I think that's accurate. <laughs> Veronica has really worked her way in there, and it's like Paris said to Johnny, a two-way street, you know? Veronica worked her way in there, but Paris also was spending a lot of time with the other side, so she kind of, like, lost her spot. Um, so then Johnny's like, all right, I love what, what you're saying. 
I'm 100% down. Let's do this. Paris says she just wants somebody that she can talk about anything with and like know that it's not going to spread around the whole entire house. Again, Johnny's like, that's me. I'm your guy. I'm into it. Yeah. <laughs> he was really hoping that they could, you know, do something together and this is their opportunity. So Johnny shares some information with Paris. He lets her know that Erica and Kayla have both been talking about voting out Jesse this week. Paris is just like shocked. She's quaking hearing that they're so quick to flip on Jesse like that. So, insert gif of Julie being like, welcome to Big Brother. <laughs> All right, so then uh, BB and the house guests surprised Veronica with a birthday party last night. Her birthday was on Sunday, but that's still pretty good, right? So she freaking cried. They surprised her with it. She was like, I hate you and I love you all. Oh my God, you're amazing. So there were balloons, a butterfly shaped plur cake. And then, um, you know, they sang for her. Will told her to kiss the cake and he pushed her face into it, which was really funny. And the have nots also got to enjoy because are they even have nots? <laughs> I think they eat less slop than reward meals. I think it's like, a 90% reward meal thing and then 10% slot for the week. Um, but then the feeds went down around 10 p.m. and stayed up all night for a huge booze up. Canada does not let us see the boozy drama. So they didn't come back until like 6 a.m. this morning when everybody was asleep. And today, every time the house guests would start talking about the craziness of the party, the feeds would cut. They're not supposed to be talking about it. Which is unfortunate because the little snippets that we've gotten here and there, it sounds like it was insane. There were a bunch of people making out, like Kayla and Veronica, Kayla and Maddie, <laughs> uh, Veronica and Will, and Paris and question mark. It got cut off, but I'm assuming it was probably Jesse. Who knows? Um... Olivia threw water at Paris. There's a lot of bad blood there now. And Will and Veronica were like apologizing to each other. There was some talk of like both of them taking off their bottoms in the hot tub or something and like Veronica grinding up on him. Like, I don't know, but he... there were apologies today. <laughs> and then, I don't know, Derek is like mad at Kayla. I feel like we have been robbed here, <laughs> right? Okay, so then around noon, Marin called everybody into the living room for an announcement from Big Brother. Everybody is getting tested for STDs. No, <laughs> just kidding. It's a task. <laughs> it's the uh, annual clean up the house after the big booze up task. So they find out they have 30 minutes to clean the whole house. And every time Big Brother plays music over the loudspeaker, they have to dance and keep cleaning. And they will get a strike every time Big Brother catches somebody not dancing. If they get three strikes, no reward for anyone. If they're successful, they get a tasty treat. More food for the have-nots! <laughs> okay, so this was actually pretty funny to watch. Every few minutes, Big Brother would play this, like, generic techno music. Plur, plur, plur! <laughs> and guess what? It was a success. So they're all exhausted. They're hungover. Big Brother is lucky they were not all throwing up all over the place during this task. Um, but other than that, it's been a pretty chill afternoon so far. We've got two days left until the eviction. Whew, it's going to be interesting. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. And until tomorrow, much love.